列を。<笑>
each loop down as I went. That way I knew that I wasn't gonna run out of rope and I didn't want it to look super choppy. And you do have to kind of hold onto it for a while and let the hot glue completely dry or else it will start to lift off. But that's what I did. And then I took an additional piece of the rope and went around the outer edges. It's several days later and our house is torn apart because we're still finding DIY projects to do. But I have these two stools that I got at some overstock store and I'm using them as plant stands. Sorry, you can hear Austin's trim gun. But I'm gonna spray paint them because I don't like that they're black and I think they would be cute or cold. So that's an easy DIY that we're gonna do. I'm gonna be using this Rust-Oleum spray paint that I got on Amazon. It's just a metallic gold color. Get spray paint. Okay, it's the next morning. Um, I'm looking quite rough because it's quarantine and I'm just, you know, but my plant stand is done. I actually posted a little TikTok of it, but this is what it looks like. I think it looks so pretty in here. Let me change the lighting. Like, look at that. That looks so much better than what it did before because before it was just black. I feel like that looks a lot more, I don't know. Just blends in with everything a lot better and doesn't stand out as much. It's so cute. It actually coated really well for, I only put two coats of spray paint on and I let it dry overnight and got my little snake plant on there. This is the spray paint that I used. Rust-Oleum Metallic. Um, indoor, outdoor, works on metal, wood, and more. I'm, I was trying to see if there was maybe a color on here, but it doesn't look like it has a specific name, but it's just this shimmery gold color. So if you guys wanna try this exact spray paint, I can link it below. I actually got this on Amazon because I didn't wanna to have to go out to the store and buy it. You can hear Austin's saw. Hi. You can hear Austin's saw going because he's always doing something, huh? He's always doing something. How are you enjoying your quarantine, huh? You little bored. Once it's sunny out, we can take you on a no, I can't say the word. Take you on a W-A-L-K. Okay. okay, so this next DIY that I'm gonna be doing, I'm going to use this giant spool of macrame cord. Um, I got this on Amazon. It was really affordable and it's 250 yards. So um, this one is four, milli four millimeters in width and 250 yards long. So the idea for this is not my own. I do want to give credit to XO McKenna. She's like one of my favorite um, YouTubers in general. She does vlogs, DIY projects, like fashion thrifting videos. It's just all the stuff that I really love. So I love watching her videos. And this is actually the first DIY project that she's posted that I've had like the supplies to do. So this is not my idea, but I am gonna be watching her tutorial to try to do this. So I need to go grab a measuring tape and measure out my yarn. For this DIY, all you need is some macrame rope and some scissors. It's super simple. I did watch McKenna's video while I did this and I think she explains it much better than I did. So if you guys wanna go watch hers for a better tutorial, I'll do my best to explain it. But you need five pieces of rope that are 30 inches long and one 60 inch piece. And you start out by just kind of gently looping it. You're not gonna tie anything. You just make a little circle loop, make sure that it's overlapping each other and then just like the yarn I did on that hanging earlier, you're just gonna do simple loop knots and put the loop underneath the little circle you created and pull the ends of the rope through. And you'll do that with all five of your 30 inch pieces. Once you get all five of your loops onto the circle, you're gonna go ahead and pull it really tight and it'll bunch them up to form a circle. This is gonna be the center of your coaster. And then to start making your rounds, you're going to hold on to the 60 inch rope. It will be the main one that you wrap the other strings around. So you start by taking each string under the 60 inch rope, 
pull through kind of like you're tying your shoe and you do that twice on each tassel and then you'll move to the next one take it under the 60 inch rope through under through next one So once you've done all those knots and made it the size of coaster that you would like, you can trim off the excess. And um, I started off by trimming them a bit long and I didn't like that after I brushed them out. So you'll see in the end that after I brushed them, I trimmed them a lot shorter. But you're going to trim them. And then I just took my dog's brush and I brushed out the tassels. And it did take a while, but I think that this makes it look so much more high end like you bought it from urban outfitters so you'll brush those out fan them out as much as you can and then i'm gonna trim them off so they're all even <laughs> So I finished my little coaster project. I made one for Austin's side of the bed. This one's not as pretty, <laughs> um, but they don't take that long, honestly. I wanna say they take me like 30 minutes maybe, but I made one for his side because we both bring water into the room at night and we just made our bed and nightstands. Like we literally just built them, stained them the other day, so I don't wanna ruin them. And so I just think that they look so cute and they look perfect with the vibe of our room. Love it. Sorry if you can hear my husband's drill or saw in the background, but as far as the other DIYs that I did, I never got to show you the finished product. This one was probably my favorite DIY that I did. So I already had this mirror. It's from a brand called Mary and Martha. And it has this verse on here, Jeremiah 31, three. And then it says, this is the face of someone who Jesus loves, which is cute and it was just a circle mirror and I never really knew how to hang it because it didn't have a frame around it or anything so I had some extra hemp rope that I had just gotten from Walmart it was extra from when I redid my or when I made my coffee table and I decided to hot glue it into this little loopy pattern it did take some time it took a couple hours but it looks very cute and very bohemian especially on the budget that it was because these mirrors from Hobby Lobby are so expensive and I'm very cheap so I think it's very cute. I want to add a shelf right here and put some like photo frames on the shelf to kind of cover the light switches but make it to where I can still use them and then I'm thinking about painting this wall an accent color but I don't know. Those were the projects I got myself into just over the last few days of quarantine, so I suspect that we're going to be getting ourselves into a lot more. But I did want to put this in real in here real quick. I picked up this acrylic paint set. Um, it's from the brand Xena Color, and it just has like every color of the rainbow that I could mix together to make my own colors. Um, because I do want to make some more like wall art for our bedroom or for the guest bedrooms or not sure but i just thought that this would be nice to have so if you guys were looking for some more like diy supplies and you don't have much i this was really affordable on amazon and then obviously i bought this spool of macrame yarn if you want me to vlog more of the projects that i get up to or show like what austin's been doing let me know in the comment section below i do plan on kind of doing like daily quarantine vlogs just kind of show you guys what we've been doing to stay occupied if you guys enjoyed this video or if you try out any of these DIYs, please tag me on Instagram and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you can join the Happy Soul Tribe. And make sure you go out of your way today to love on someone and make them feel extra special just because they are. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.